Hi there, I'm Saifer with another video and as you can see the topic of this class is independent sample t-test and pair sample t-test using SPSS. Alright, so if you are new in my YouTube channel, you can subscribe my YouTube channel to be notified for my next few videos. You can also join our Facebook group, Facebook page and website in our platform Data Science Era. Okay, so before starting every class, you need to know I always show the basic ideas at first then I go to SPSS like to show how to analyze the data and like always to analyze the data at first you need to know or you need to do in fact like download the data files which I provided you in my description box of this video I also provided you an output files so that you can do the data analysis after watching this video by yourself okay so let's start the topic like at first we will show a little bit basic like what is independent sample t-test, okay? Independent sample t-test is used to determine if there is any difference between the means of two independent groups on a dependent variable. What does it mean? Let's say we have an independent variable gender which has two groups, male and female. That means it is a categorical variable, right? And let's say we have grade point average for all the individuals and which is dependent variable. Now let's say if you want to know that whether the mean grade point average for male varies or differs from the grade point average for female. Alright, that means you are comparing the two means for these two groups in terms of their grade point average. You want to determine whether it really differs from each other or not okay so by doing a hypothesis test or this hypothesis test you can be able to do that and in fact this test is also known as like independent t-test measures t-test between subject unpaired t-test students t-test okay so don't be confused when you see this particular name uh, in place of independent sample t-test now as you always know that to do something, we need to follow some rules, like when actually we call it like assumptions. Like what are the assumptions of this particular test? Like here the, the observations need to be independent. Okay, while you collect the data, your observation can't be like a paired observation or matched observation, which I will explain a little bit later on pair sample TS. And what we need to, we need to find in SPS is like, for the second assumption, like there should not there should not be any significant outliers in two groups of your independent variable in terms of dependent variable, okay? And dependent variable needs to be approximately normally for each particular group. Like for male, there should be normally distributions in terms of their grade point. For female, they also need to be normally distributed, okay? And the last one is that there should be homogeneity of variances between groups. Okay, we will do a particular test to find homogeneity of variance. All right. Okay, so now let's start with the SPSS and here we have the data that I provided you. And if you haven't downloaded it yet, I said already that you need to download the data file. So here we have two variables, one for gender, which is categorical, or two category like for zero female, for Y male, and for there is another variable which is Continuous variable that is quantitative, which is GPA, grade point average. Okay, so here you can see we have some samples around like 58 data values there. So we need to determine the independent sample t test. Okay, or that means we need to see whether there is mean difference between these particular two groups, male and female, in terms of grade point average. Okay, before doing that, we need to check the three assumptions, as I said already. At the first one, we don't need to check this, but we need to check like outliers, normality, and homogeneity of variances. So, to check outliers, you you need to draw a box plot, right? Now, how to draw a box plot? Like you need to go to Chart Builder. Then you can just click. Uh, here it has a box plot for two variable. I already selected it, so let's click Reset to start it again. Okay, so then select the box plot I and mean, it x axis you need to select the independent variable which is gender okay here we have two variable remember that not one variable we previously draw a box plot 
for one variable in another video and for grade point average choose it on Y axis then click OK to get the box load now let's check the output files so here we have the box plot and you can see that there is no outliers in the data as we have no circle or star sign outside the box okay that means we don't have any outliers so the, our first assumption fulfilled well in many cases there is a big chance that you may out, you may have outliers in the data you may delete outliers you may follow some procedures to deal with outliers or maybe you need to follow another approach or even in large samples if you have one or two outlier you could ignore that depending on your objective and depending on the situations all right for the second assumptions you need to check normality for different two groups like male and female okay now go to the analyze and go to the descriptive statistics then click explore then we already selected it so click let's click reset then the grade point average independent gender in fact list then click statistics then yeah you, you can check the descriptives to have an idea using skewness and click plots we don't need to check box plot we need to check normality plots with test all right let's check instagram we can also check that and then click continue click ok to get the output here here we can see the descriptives you can just have an idea about the skewness okay here you can see the skewness for like for female we have like 0.377 right and for male we have skewness like 0 0.290 now it's not exactly close to zero but we may consider it depending on the situations that it is approximately normal but to get it clear idea you must check the hypothesis test that means Shaprio will test. There is another test which is less powerful and less appropriate, especially this will test is more appropriate for when the sample size is small. Okay, if there is a large sample, it is recommended to go for QQ plot. Okay, now let's check the will test. Here, are the p value you can see for both male and female it is greater than 0 0.05. Now, what it is greater than 0 0.05, we consider the null hypothesis accepted. Now, what is null hypothesis? Let me open and output file here. I have written to give you some ideas. Like here is the null hypothesis to check the normality. I will provide the output files in the description box. You can also download it. Okay. Now here the null is like grid point for a female group follow normal distribution. That means as the p-value greater than 0 0.05, null hypothesis is accepted, right? So we can say that this follow normal distribution. If the null is rejected, rejected, then it does not follow normal distributions. Okay. And the next thing we need to check for like we need to check the homogeneity of variances. Here the null is also there is equal variances between the groups. So if null hypothesis accept on that particular case, we can also say there is homogeneity of variances, which is our last assumptions. Also, before that, I will tell you you can also check the histogram to get an idea about normality. You can also check QQ plot. This is, looks like normal as you can see that all the points are close to the straight line, okay, for both cases. So we can say that it approximately follow normal distributions. If it doesn't follow normal distributions, it's going to be it up to handle this data or to use this test. You need to go for another test like non-parametric test, okay? Or you need to try to transform your variable to make it normal distributions. Okay, now let's go for our last assumptions. We will do that by finding our independent t-test. We will do the last assumptions and our final test at the same time, okay? Let me do it. You need to go to the analyze and go to the compare means then go to independent sample t-test I already selected let's click reset then click grid point average in test variable then click gender in grouping variable and now for gender you can define the groups like for group one you can say that means female for group two male that means one okay click continue then click the options then click continue again it's all right and click OK to get our final output. OK. So here you can see our final output box. Here you can see for the equal variance, we have a test which is known as Levin's test. OK. Now you can see the p value here is greater than 0 0.05. OK. So we can see, you can say that the null is accepted at 5% level of significance. That means there is homogeneity of variances. So we can go with this test. Okay. Now to get the result of this test, you can see that there is a test for equal of means. 
and here you can also check the p-value that is 0 0.03 okay so here the null is rejected now what is null and alternative in this case this is our final so let me show it like you can consider the null hypothesis as that okay the mean g grade point average between the two groups are equal this is none that means there is no difference between the two mean groups okay for male and female in terms of grade point average and the alternative is that it's not equal that means the alternative we have to accept it we have to reject the null as the p-value less than 0 0.05 so we can say that the mean grade point average for male and female have significant difference right or it differs so that is our our final output we are done with independent sample t-test now let's start pair sample t-test all right so what is pair sample t-test the pair sample t-test can be used to determine whether there are main difference between paired observation is statistically significant or not so the observations need to be paired now what do you mean by pair that means it's like it is possible that same individuals tested at two time points okay or you could have a group of participants that have been matched in terms of one or more characteristic like maybe age maybe gender and tested on one dependent variable okay so let us check that what does it mean let me provide an example let's say uh, after the first year result or first year grade point when they got the result of a student the teacher of the department of statistics they decided to change their teaching style in second year okay and they decided to check whether the mean grade point average differs between first year and second year that means when the teaching style is old and what about their grade point average and when the teaching style is new what about their grade point average you need to compare the mean grade point average for these two variable or two particular methods okay now to do that we need to follow some assumptions like before like there should not be any significant outliers and the distribution of the difference in the different variable between the two matched groups need to be normally distributed let me show it in the data so that you can understand it clearly okay so here we have the data file okay there you can see two dependent or two variables here like old teaching method for gpa and gpa for new teaching method no categorical variable here only two quantitative variable all right now as you can see here like here i actually used the previous data that i showed in independent sample features and just convert it and consider it in two group in rather than two groups in two quantitative variable like as i said one for old method one for new method now what do you need to check we need to check the mean of this and the mean of this significantly differ or not by using pair sample t-test to do that like before you can check the outlier okay like you can go oh before checking outlier what are you gonna check is that this is very important we need to find the difference between these two variables okay now how to find the difference and actually we need to check the outliers normally for for the difference okay now here you can see you can need to go to the uh transform then compute variable we are going to we are going to transform this to variable and compute it into a new variable and let us say the new variable name is difference okay difference now how are you going to find that we're going to find that the grade point average for old teaching method minus you just need to select minus for the new teaching method that means we are subtracting these two methods to find the difference that is how the the rules to go for this hypothesis test okay now click ok now you can see that you already got a new variable that's quite interesting right now you need to select the outliers for this particular new variable select box plot here select a box plot for one variable click dif select difference and drag it here and just click ok now here you can see we have the box plot there is no outliers in the data as no value or see the box plot by showing a sign as i said it will show a sign of circle or maybe star okay so now we can go with our next assumptions just for normality now to do that go to analyze again go to describe to statistics and click explore okay now you need to click difference okay select it and then go to the statistics 
you could select describe keys go to plots select normality plots with test select histogram then we don't need to check box plot click continue click ok here is the output here now you can see you can see that there should be a yeah there is a wilk test again now as you can see the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 also here so you can say that okay it also follows normal distributions okay the difference not the particular uh, variable that we have okay like old and new and you can also check the qq plot it also looks like normal distribution as you can see in this qq plot for normal and you can also check the histogram it is you can also have an idea by using this qns as i said we got it it's will test so let's go to our final results to find the pair test okay uh, pair t test i'll go to analyze go to compare means then click Paired sample t test. Here is the box we have. Now for the pair one, you can select this variable. And for the variable two, you can select this variable. Okay. Now you just need to click options. Then click continue. Everything is alright. So let's click OK. So here is the final output here. You can see that the p-value here is less than 0 0.05. Okay, all right. So what does it mean? What does it mean is that that the paired mean test or the mean of these two groups are not equal. Let me see differs. Okay, there is a significant difference between these two between this mean for these two variables okay for the old teaching method grid points and grid points for the new teaching method so that is how you can interpret the data you can analyze it you can use these two particular tests to make sure your observations are paired while using this test everything else almost same and find the difference to check the assumptions okay so if you think that this video is really help you you can you can share this video and you can share our platform data science era you can join our page our group and our website also we will upload a lot of contents in our website you can watch most of our contents for free and yeah so that's it thank you very much for this video hope to see you on another video bye bye